Today, we will talk about the certainty equivalent. The certainty equivalent is the guaranteed return someone would accept now, rather than taking a chance on a higher, but uncertain, return in the future. It's the guaranteed amount of cash that a person would consider as having the same amount of desirability as a risky asset. Investments must pay a risk premium to compensate investors for the possibility that they may not get their money back. If an investor has a choice between different investment options, the payoff differential is the certainty equivalent. The company seeking investors can use the certainty equivalent as a basis for determining how much more it needs to pay to convince investors to take the riskier option. The certainty equivalent cash flow is the risk-free cash flow that a manager considers equal to a different expected cash flow which is riskier. The formula for calculating the certainty equivalent cash flow involves the risk premium and expected cash flow. The risk premium is calculated as the risk-adjusted rate of return minus the risk-free rate. The certainty equivalent varies between investors based on their risk tolerance. The certainty equivalent is closely related to the concept of risk premium or the amount of additional return an investor requires to choose a risky investment over a safer investment. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The certainty equivalent represents the amount of guaranteed money an investor would accept now instead of taking a risk of getting more money at a future date. 2. The certainty equivalent varies between investors based on their risk tolerance, and a retiree would have a higher certainty equivalent because they're less willing to risk their retirement funds. 3. The certainty equivalent is closely related to the concept of risk premium or the amount of additional return an investor requires to choose a risky investment over a safer investment. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.